Hi guys. <laughs> How is everybody today? It's Sunday and I'm up to my third um, meal for the day. <laughs> okay, this is kind of like a lunch early dinner. So I, I don't know what it is. I can't stop eating. Somebody help me, okay? But um, earlier I had like eggs like for breakfast and like sunny side up eggs and um you know just just a constant constant you know eating fat but <laughs> you're here for the content about harry and megan at a minimum or maybe a maximum or whatever else i can come up with but guess what i haven't seen any new updates so far like when i went on to um you know how when I, I log on to my YouTube for the day, I always check the people I follow most often. People like, say, Murad Morelli. Let's see what he has. And I don't think he had anything new that was, um, that was, that was you know, necessarily up my street. He had this one thing on Jay-Z being caught on tapes, though. And so, yeah, apparently these are some incriminating tapes. It seems like they, the suggestion is that he was with Diddy and they were in flagrant delecto. Is that the expression? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and my God, I mean, if that's true, I don't even think I want to see it. I can't look at it. I can't, I can't watch. I can't watch. But the bottom line, though, it seems that Jay-Z and Beyonce um are in paris for the launch of beyonce's latest whiskey called sir davis which is a collaboration with moet hennessy part of the louis vuitton moet hennessy brand okay i don't think that jay-z and beyonce have a care in the world i mean you know if in fact these tapes are out and people are seeing him in this in this um you know situation let's put it that way i don't think that um if jay-z and beyonce have a care in the world i mean they were also talking about how you know people were attacking beyonce um on social media leaving really rude comments in her instagram and things like that about diddy's case which you know you know basically i looked at different publications like cnn instagram um town and country etc i mean looking for different you know news and uh it really just sounds to me that if these tapes do exist of jay-z attending the freak off and from the beginning they also said that there were videos of of beyonce at the freak offs oh i mean what do i think about that i think a lot of this is just gossip you know nobody has really produced these tapes, there are all these like promises of like, oh, we have this tape, we have this tape. I don't think anyone has yet to diffuse this tape of, of Beyonce and or Jay-Z at these recaps. But I mean, let's remember you guys, just for perspective that even assuming they were at the freak offs and even assuming they participated in the freak offs, I'm not aware that they've broken any law by doing so. Perhaps their fans will be, you know, completely disgusted, shocked, disappointed, whatever the, the word is. I don't even know because, I mean, I don't really profess to be a fan of either Jay Z or Beyonce. They're there. I don't hate them. I don't like them. It's just they're there, you know? But um, there are many people who really idolize them. And so if they attended this these these events at Diddy's house, yeah, maybe there will be some people who are really like scandalized by that. But I mean, people are acting as if, you know, the fact that they attended the freak offs makes them, you know, subject to criminal liability. And I don't think it necessarily works that way. I mean, more would have to be true, you know, where they were helping Diddy to to traffic underage girls or something like that i mean i don't know i mean you can't just say well jay-z was at the freak off so lock him up and throw away the key for 55 years because he 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 had you know relations with another male person i mean in america males can marry males so a lot of this sort of outcry from you know especially the the, the hip-hop community 
is like really bizarre. I mean, people are married who are the same gender across America and in other places in the world. So it's it's almost kind of like comical in a way, the way that they're behaving like, oh, this man and Jay-Z did this. I mean, look, if I'm Jay-Z's wife, like if I'm Beyonce, and I think we're in a situation where we're both heterosexuals and we are exclusive to one another, and it comes to my attention that this is not the case, that I mean, for the love of God, this man is at freak offs with other men. I mean, of course, of course. I'm not not only am I going to blow a gasket, but I mean, it just would be something of such a scale. I can't even tell you. I look, I, I can't even tell you. But the bottom line is the following, right? We don't really know what's going on with these two people. In so far as, you know, any participation with this Diddy mess is concerned, what we do know is they're in Paris. Look at this dress this woman is wearing. Look, just look at the, the V cut on this dress. Do you think after two children, is this like, I mean, did she get some help with those? Okay, take your eyes out with that. She's promoting her brand. It's a whiskey, you guys. Whiskey for party, get drunk. Whiskey, okay? It's called Sir Davis. Okay. And she's happy. And Jay-Z, not a care in the world. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. Even if he is in the tape carrying on with what's his face, but Diddy, it's not a criminal act. I mean, it is adultery at a minimum. My God, my God. Okay. I don't even know what I, I can't even, I, this is why you guys, I'm single. <laughs> I mean, I can't do this. I can't do this. Anyway, listen, I have to go. It's been real. Happy Sunday to everybody. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.